this is the video game votary show your support and hit subscribe right now what's going on video game voter vanguard what a video game voter here with another pickups video so as i talked about in the last few pickups videos i had i've had some games that i collected had kind of sitting on the shelf that i was waiting to file away and this is the last of it so it's going to be a combination of some xbox games as well as some sega genesis and some dreamcast so to find out everything that i picked up sit back subscribe catch the vibe and find out next okay guys welcome back before we get today's video started if you're a fan of video game content convention coverage pickers videos live streams and much more be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell turn on notifications so that you miss a single episode and as always we upload every tuesday and thursdays at 4 p.m right here on the video game Vote. all right guys so let's get right into it because we got a lot to go through and this is the last bit of these games and i finally get to file all my games away i don't have a random shelf of just random games so this is crackdown three for the xbox one quick story i got this game for like 97 cents uh utilizing gamestop points so if you're not a fan of gamestop but you shop there often and your pro rewards member definitely take advantage of those deals now to the 360 we got tom clancy's ghost recon advanced warfighter next we have the cursed crusade i've heard some great things about this game um this is part of a major uh a huge pickup that i got so i added this to the collection as well up next we have star trek up next we have hulk hogan's main event and this requires the connect sensor which i recently picked up so i'm actually pretty excited to try this out especially with my kids and last rounding out the 360 we got a heavy hitter we got from rockstar games red dead redemption the classic just want to point out uh we're going to the original xbox i'm going to point out a couple loose games uh if you guys out there you guys happen to have the case so you have these games relatively cheap that i could buy from you please let me know down in the comment section on the left we got espn college hoops and on the right we got need for speed carbon these are loose titles which i'm not a fan of you guys know i love my cases um one thing to point out you know i know sports titles are not really hugely sought after but when it comes to college sports games they really kind of don't exist anymore and i believe that they're going to start going up popularity as well as price so if you're a collector i think that's maybe something you should keep an eye on because you never know which one is going to pop up and start becoming popular in the price range so just my thought a couple of sports titles we got mvp 06 ncaa baseball there's another college game guys and another college title we got ncaa football 2003 next we have espn 2k5 shell 2004 next is one of those rarities and odd titles um i know that sounds strange for a sports title but xbox had a lot of um first party uh sports titles that they had exclusively to the xbox and i wish they'd go back to that because i kind of hate the fact that madden is the only football game in town but this is one of those rare ones you got nfl primetime 2002 now this is one franchise that they had but they also had a couple other series uh franchises that was exclusive to the xbox and to me like i said these are one of these games where you absolutely had to have an xbox so to me some of these sports titles do have some sort of value to them we'll get to some a bit of extreme sports titles this is fifa streets 2 i haven't played this but i'm very curious about it i love arcade style sports games i think they're a lot of fun and for the most part everybody can pick them up and play even more so than a sports title because you know some of these sports games go a little more in depth and in detail up next another xbox exclusive is Out outlaw volleyball next we have championship bowling next we have uh our racing evolution i think it may be racing revolution if you guys know um let me know down in the comment section and correct me. Uh, this is a racing game from Namco, and Namco is great for making arcade races, so I'm looking forward to that. Next, we have a very uh, popular um, racing franchise, another Xbox exclusive from Microsoft Studios, Project Gotham Racing. Up next, we have I 
HRA Professional Drag Race in 2005. Now, a little side story on this. Um, I'm a mechanic by trade. I'm into racing, and I can honestly say this is a very popular series for a lot of actual people that go to the track and drag race. And I feel like this series should be a lot bigger than what it should be or what it actually is because, you know, these games take a lot of attention to detail as far as drag racing, as far as uh, drag tires, what type of tires, building your engines, transmissions, turbochargers, all of these things. And it's very, very in detail and real racers love this style of game. Um, I'm not sure. If, actually, we are sure. But that's is behind that. But that's if you're listening. I will put some more effort in bringing this franchise back. And if you're a fan of drag racing in real life for this game, let me know down in the comment section. Next, we have Ford Racing 2. Next, we got a few Tom Clancy uh, games. This is Tom Clancy's Rainbow 6-3 Squad Base Counter Terror. Some more from Tom Clancy, 2011 Final Assault, Ghost Recon 2. We also have Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon. This is the game of the year. I'm going to go through these Tom Clancy titles, two more. Also got Tom Clancy Splinter Cell, Pandora Tomorrow. And last but not least, rounding out the Tom Clancy games, we got Rainbow Six Three Black Arrow. So I guess it was a kind of uh, building on the franchise of Rainbow Six Three, but then there's a couple of uh, um, titles underneath the Rainbow Six Three brand. Next, we have The Sims busting out. This uh cover is very interesting i'm kind of curious it makes me curious and it's rated teen so i'm looking forward to actually playing this game next we have the great escape next was one that i uh picked up uh while in virginia and i was had my eyes on this this is final fight streetwise from capcom so we have the platinum hits edition the lord of the rings the two towers Last but not least, we have Grand Theft Auto Vice City, the Xbox collection. Um, as you guys know, GTA was really big back in the day, and this is one of, to me, one of the better GTA titles. All right, guys, now we're going to get into the Sega pickups. I only have one Dreamcast title. Um, up first, we have Sega, from Sega Sports, this World Series Baseball 2K1. And if you guys were a big fan of Dreamcast, like I am one, I'm always looking to collect and add any game cheap that I can get to that collection. I would like to do a complete set. Uh, I'm not sure how realistic it is just because of the price of Dreamcast game and Sega, Sega games in general outside of cartridges. But um, just like Xbox, Dreamcast had Sega Sports who basically, in my personal opinion, revolutionized both the basketball, football, and baseball um, franchises and just the style of gameplay that those 2k sports games brought to the table they're so much different than what you normally play like your uh mlbs and your maddens it's totally different and even the 2k now it started on dreamcast and this baseball title you know um that series has came and went and went over to the xbox but to me it just doesn't have that authentic sega sports feel anymore we're going to get into some Genesis titles. And before I get into them, I just want to point out, I, I love collecting for the Genesis and um, especially for retro gaming. Uh, I've always been a fan of how Sega um, puts their cartridges in these clamshell cases. To me, it kind of gives it, you know, a different type of feel and almost like a collector's feel. Uh, cartridges are cool, but to me, I love seeing the outside binding of the cases up on my game shelf. You let me know whether or not you agree or disagree. To me, it just looks so much better, so much uniform, so much more professional. Um, I actually picked these Sega games up for an insane price, and I was so delighted to see that they came in the case, and maybe this is something I may look to pursue and further in my collection. We never know. Well, first, we got the classic Street Fighter II Special Championship Edition, a Special Champion Edition. Next, we got Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Next, we got OutRun 2019. Next, we got the classic Streets of Rage. And last but not least, we got Streets of Rage 3. And if you can look up there in that top corner um, from the young lady that I purchased this from, I believe this was her children's old games. And 
I'll have to do another video just detailing that story about that pickup. It was insane. But if you look right there, I'm not sure what store it came from. $39.99. So, you know, this was back when it first came out. So it's little things like that that, um, you know, kind of tell the story and history behind certain games and stuff like that. As far as what the prices were back then and if they got it on sale, what stores, stuff like that. And I know uh, John Hancock is also a fan of stuff like that. So I'm going to leave the sticker right there where it is. And I'm happy to have these Genesis games added to my collection. Okay, guys. So this will conclude today's video. If you guys like the video, please hit that like button. Also, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell to get notifications when we upload every Tuesday and Thursday right here on the Video Game Rotary at 4 p.m. I'm very excited to finally get that shelf cleared and get these things filed away. They are in my digital file, but they haven't been filed away correctly in my game room, and I'm very excited to do that. And if you guys are fans of any of these games, let me know down in the comment section what games you have in your collection. And if you're looking to add any to your collection after watching this video. So once again, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for your continued support. Take care and stay safe. Thank you for watching. Follow me on all social media platforms at Video Game Voter.